CPU Middle School in Center Point, Iowa, and this is Think, Make, Innovate. Uh, is this the right place? You are in the right place. This is where we're going to shoot the drone episode today. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Let's get started. I'm Jason Marshall. And I'm Amber Bridge. And welcome to Think, Make, Innovate. Now, I'm pretty excited because I really like drones. Well, you're in luck today because we are going to showcase a challenge from middle school students at Center Point Urbana that they recently completed. Ah, oh, cool. Um, you know, each group of those students designed an obstacle course for their fellow classmates to maneuver through with a drone from parents. Parrot is great because they make several types of drones. And for this challenge, the students use a rolling spider, which is a smaller drone designed for inside use. You know, one thing I like about these drones is they can be programmed with the Tickle app, which is an app that we featured uh, with some other robots on the show. Yeah. It also has a small pin camera on the bottom uh, of the drone. Yeah, and that camera is really great because one of the student courses actually involved using that built-in camera to take a photograph of a hidden object, kind of like a spy mission. The students found the drones did have a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, they did a nice job of tweaking their plans to complete a successful mission. Like many makerspace activities, the students learned through failure, but they persevered. You know, although I really like these drones, they can be a bit temperamental. Uh, small nicks to the blades, for example, can uh, really throw off the flight path, and the battery only allows for six minutes of flight time. Uh, we did notice that the speed the drone travels uh, varies significantly with uh, how much battery life's left. We do like drones as another avenue to bring coding into the classroom. The students use the Tickle app to code the path of their drone course, and they had to do a lot of debugging in their code to help adjust it to be successful on their path. Hey, did we ever get that white drone back from them? Uh, no. What's that sound? Uh, we'll let the students take it from here. I challenge you to make your own drone course. Our drone is going to take off from here, move this with you, and turn here, move this with you, and knock our person off from that stand. So you're going to start on this white line, and you're going to take off. You're going to come to this first hula hoop. Then you're going to continue on, go to this orange hula hoop. Then you're going to go up a little more, then go forward, and then drop down, come out, take a picture of that, and then land right next to it. Okay, and on the floor you've got, what is that? A picture of our map of all this. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of like a spy mission then, because you can use the camera on the drone? We done goof, that's what happened. No. I did not go forward, I decided to go backwards. Make it move forward for longer, see if it goes forward this time. Five, Five seconds. seconds. At first, it was going like good through the first hula hoop, but then it started just to keep on going higher and higher. Like when we kept on going, we doing the further stages. So I don't understand. Three seconds. 
It took a while, but it eventually worked out. A lot of slaps on the back of the head. Hi, yeah. man. <laughs> What's, what did you learn about drones today? Big uh, timing is everything. It angles. Precision. What was the hardest part? The Setting timing. it up. No, the t coding. Getting it to be just sure. perfect. Um, uh, it's all about timing. That the battery, whenever the battery is like, it depends on the back. The, the, if it's fully yeah. charged, it can go, like, if you have five seconds, it can go the full jam. When it's fully charged, it's like, if it's half charged, it'll only go, like, to the point where it's from this stage. Like, it's all that matters about, like, the, how charged it is and what time, like, how much time. What was the hardest part of this activity? The timing. I think that it, like, if it hits something, then it just cuts it and it can't fly.